Deputy Speaker, may I admire my right honourable friend the Chancellor Stamenar in answering well over 90 questions. Can I also warmly welcome his statement this afternoon, and in particular the £100 billion he announced on infrastructure spending, which of course includes some vital projects in my constituency, notably the levelling up fund of the feasibility study for the Sirencester Light Railway, the reconfirmation of the funding for the A417, and above all, the extra funding for gigabit broadband, which my rural constituency suffers from. So will he confirm that very hard-hit economies like Gloucestershire uh, will benefit from this infrastructure funding and it will help speed up a strong recovery? Can I thank my right honourable friend for his uh, kind words and support? And he's absolutely right. We want to make sure that this record investment in infrastructure brings tangible benefits to our constituents wherever they live, whether that's in the rural southwest or a town up in the northeast. All of the people of this country should see measurable improvement in the quality of their lives and the opportunities that they can seize ahead of them. That is something that this government will focus relentlessly on and intends to deliver. It's not often I get to bring a smile to the Chancellor's face, but that is it. Uh, I'd like to thank him for his statement today in answering the questions. He was on his feet from 12.45. It's over two and a half hours, so I'm extremely grateful, as I'm sure is the entire House of Commons. Um, order, order. Um, I have now to announce the results of today's deferred division on the draft European Union Withdrawal Act 2018 relevant court retained EU case law regulations 2020. The ayes were 354, the noes were 261, so the ayes have it, the ayes have it. We will now suspend for a brief period for the sanitisation of the dispatch boxes and... Uh